this is Warlord. And what we're going to do today is create some simple clothing in ZBrush using masking and extraction. It's a very simple way to do it. From there, we're going to move over into Studio Max and use a modifier to copy existing rigging. That way we don't have to spend a lot of time doing the tedious work or the hard work of rigging. Then from there, we'll go out in FBX and back in Character Creator. So let's go ahead and get started. Since we are going to be using ZBrush, we're going to need to export to an OBJ. So let's go to File, Export to OBJ, New Character. Just leave everything as it is, Export, and I'm going to call this Female Blank. Now this is going to save textures and everything else, which you really don't need. But you can leave them there if you want. I'm just going to show you right quick what the folder looks like and what it generated. We do have to keep these two files no matter what. The, the regular OBJ file and the OBJ key file. But as far as all these other files that uh, are textures, you can delete those if you want to. It's not something you have to do. You can just leave them in there. You can also delete this material file. Because this stuff is not used. But like I said, make sure that you keep OBJ key and OBJ. Now that we're there, let's go ahead and let's skip on over to ZBrush. And we'll import it in. Now I'm going to drag it in and immediately hit edit so it becomes editable. Framed. And now we're ready to go ahead and make our first piece of, excuse me, our first piece of clothing. I think what we're going to do is start off with pants because they're simple. Now we're going to use the masking tool. So I'm going to hold down control and I'm just going to mask out some simple pants, short pants. And we're not going to go in and do any uh, geometry subdivision or anything. So some of this may stay a little rough. But we don't want to get into that right now because what you can do to make these lines much smoother is you'd go in and divide this mesh and you would make uh, make the mesh a lot larger. But then you had to go back down to your original size before you can come out. And we're not going to get into projection or anything like that. Not in this. We're just going to show you how to put this, how to create this, and then how to go ahead and get it over into iCloud. So we've got our pants masked off. And what I'm going to do next is come up here to Subtool, Extract. And let's just go ahead and hit extract and you'll see that's a bit big. So I'm going to come down here and go to 0 0.01 extract. I think I'll accept that. And now we already have our pants. Now we could come in here and do several things to these pants, but we're, we're this is not really for that either. This is just to show you how to do it. So there we've already created the pants. And what we have to do now is get them back out. Once you're finished, you're going to come in here and export it back out as an OBJ. So I'm just going to call these pants. Now actually you'll be working on one character. Like if I code the whole character, you can call it pants. Well, let's just back up here. Instead of pants right now, let's just call this female clothes. Because we don't know that it will be final and save. We can start stacking these things up or we can save them in individual files. That part doesn't matter. So now we're ready to go into Studio Max and get this thing rigged up. Now we're back in Character Creator because in order to work in Studio Max we're going to need a fully rigged FBX instead of an OBJ. Now this is just the way I do it. I don't know if this is the way Realusion officially does it or anything like that. But instead of exporting to OBJ we have the same character. We're going to export to FBX. I'm not going to hit anything here. I'm just going to leave it like it is. And I'm going to call this female blank again because that way I'll, I'll know which one's blank on both of them. I'll know which one is at least the first one of that generation on both of them. So now we've got that exported out and we're ready now to move over into Studio Max and import that in and get it ready to go ahead and put our pants on it and rig it. So let's go do that. Okay, now we're in Studio Max, so what we're going to do is import the female blank FPX. And what this is going to do is give us a fully rigged character so we don't have to do all the work. 
All right, there's our character. Now we're going to go in and we're going to import the female clothes or the pants as they are in this case. Now, if you were going to watch poly count, this is probably the inside. You could uncheck that and that would cut your poly count in half. We're not going to be concerned with that right now. That's why we didn't look. But this is something that you're going to want to pay attention to. That way you won't have to import the interior of something that you won't see. We'll just go ahead and move on. Now you'll notice the pants are there and they fit and they fit just fine. But the problem is they're not rigged. So what we're going to do next is use the neat little modifier, the skin wrap, if you're not familiar with it. And we're going to come over here and we're going to add this rigged character, the body base. And we're going to use that rigging. See, it's already got a skin wrap on it. We're going to convert it to skin. Then we're going to delete the skin wrap. And now this is rigged and ready to go. Now we're ready to go ahead and export out as an FBX so that we can take it back in the character creator. So we're going to export. And I am going to call this pants. Save. Now you'll see down here it's working, initializing, getting ready to export it. Okay, now we're ready to bring it in, but I just remembered that I did forget one step. But let's go ahead and import it so I can show you what we're talking about. What we're going to do is import. You see I've got it pants right here. I'm going to import it. I'm going to get that female blank key that we generated when we exported. Now it's importing it. Okay, everything's fine. It passes. It's down here. You notice it's called female clothed. Well, that's what we're fixing to talk about. As far as layers go, this is the only clock on there, so just leave it at layer 1. Now, once it gets in here, the problem to the way I've named it, since I didn't change it, is it's going to come in as female clothed, and you don't want every piece of clothing to say female clothed. So, let's go back to Studio Max, and let me show you why that happened. When I brought it in, we're going to click on the pants. It was called female clothes because that was the way I'd saved it. It's the way I worked my uh, naming convention on my files. What we're going to do is change this to pants. Then we're going to export back out just like we did before. And then once it exports, we're going to jump back over and import it in and that way we'll be able to tell that it's pants. Okay now we're back in character creator file import we're going to import the pants go back and grab our key hit OK everything's fine now if you had other cloth on here uh, it would conflict and it wouldn't let you go forward you'd have to change the level because ones will con conflict with other level one clothing. Now once it comes in you'll see that we have pants instead of female clothes and that makes a lot more sense. So now we can go ahead and look at calibrating and we will have to make a few changes. Looks like right there and there was one around the front also but that might be a little extreme and what we'll do is we'll conform you can calculate collision do that a few times or you can just increase the size this doesn't get all that important until we like get an undershirt under there or if we were going to do something like that that might conflict with it that's pretty much it for the pants. Now let's go ahead and send it over to iClone and let's just see how it works in there. Give it a little animation test. There she is. And we'll see what happens. Looks pretty good.
So there's your basic method for getting clothing over. Now I'll make a few more pieces, we'll, and I'll do that in, in other parts uh, for those of you that want to see how to do a, a specific piece. But this is pretty much the basic concept of using something like ZBrush and Studio Max Pipeline. Could possibly also be done with Sculptress, uh, I guess Mudbox, uh, several like that, Blender, I'm sure too. The only reason I work with these is these are the tools I use. Well, I hope this helped you get a basic concept of it. Like I said, we'll move on to a few other parts where I'll make, an, make a piece of armor and do a helmet. But I hope this helps. Thank you.